Who did this? Who did this? Oh no. I mean, it was Hiyoko after all. She fucking is always being mean to Mikan, and I hate that she's being mean to Mikan. And it pisses me off when she's mean to Mikan. And Hiyoko pisses me off and was one of my least favorite characters. So, but it's not like I wanted her to die. I kind of wanted her to die. I'm not going to be happy, though. I'm not going to be shocked. I'm not going to be not shocked. Body has been discovered. I'm shocked she got got. I, if anything, I thought she might have killed someone. I think, if anything... It was soda. I think it was soda. Maybe. Maybe? Hmm. Huh. Because soda was in charge of the cameras. No! Wait. Soda was in charge of the cameras. He made two so we can communicate back and forth to each other from the hospital to that place. So why does a third camera exist that filmed the body? Where did this camera come from? I think it was Soda. I think Soda's number one suspect. Where did this other camera come from? Unless they say the camera's missing. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two body discovery announcements in a row? That means... Damn. Damn, and it played... Damn, this game is, is so... Knows so well... How to predict what the care What the uh, player is thinking. Because I was thinking, I'm like... Oh, I don't know which side is going to have a death. Is the hospital side going to have a death? Or is the motel side going to have a death? And it knows, like, the fucking writers know. They're like, we know what you're thinking. So... Kill them both. The hanged body with a hemp bag on its head. Hiyoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies had been discovered at the same time. What is this? What? Hiyoko and who the hell's the one wearing the hemp bag? Two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hiyoko's body. I only saw the one hanged body over there. Not even 10 minutes passed, but still, why? Yeah. What is this? Whoops, I pressed X. <laughs> impossible, impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Shut, the hell up. Shut up, idiot. Just... For now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes. But, what, but what about preserving the scene of the crime? Yeah. Who the fuck cares about um, that? There's a control panel for the baton lighting on the wing, right wing of this, on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. Yeah, get the fucking body down. Fuck it. Disrespectful. We're not leaving Ibuki like that. Fuyiko ran over to the wing of the stage and preserved the, and pressed the button on the control panel. Oh, man. With the motorized sound and the growl starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? There it is, dude. There it is. Even though I expected it, I didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that face that I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it. Damn it. It's all my fault. If only I did better job watching over Ibuki. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is... What's the matter? Yo, where has Sonya been at this whole time? Sonya's had such like a non-role this chapter. Uh, geez, it feels like someone died in here or something. Hey. So you finally showed up. The root of all evil. How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil? I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? <gasps> That was that was a fake lot. That was a fake cry of screaming of 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 fear. That was fake. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? Ibuki and Hiyoko? What? So two people have been killed. What? Whoa there, that's not all. I've also summoned the others who are at the hospital. 
others? Troubling. Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. No, 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 he's got the lying disease. Another serious incident occurred while I was unaware? Either he's cured or he was fully aware that this was happening. D damn it! I can't believe they did such a horrible thing. Wait, are they cured? Wait, never mind. Akane, are you okay? Of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? No way! Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, this stuff is totally over now. Hey. Over? Oh. I guess that's the motive. So you have the disease until someone is killed. So now that no, someone is killed, the disease is gone. Yeah, because I got bored. That's... For that silly reason? <laughs> and now the killing has started. So there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now. So you don't have to worry about it anymore. What, say? what the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so yeah. easily? Because who cares about itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. So let's get back to our main topic and proceed yes. as usual. The file. Shit. See ya later. I'll be watching. I'll be waiting for the class trial. Do your best to investigate. Again? We have to do this again? Silence. We have no choice. Like last time. If this means one of us, well, like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, then we cannot let this be. Why do we have to do this? Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. If we don't do anything, we'll all be executed. Dude, I fear that Mekon did it. I, f I fear that Mekon was like responsible. But at the same time, it was like, I don't fucking know. Abandon your over-dependence and complaints this instant. Those who have no place in this world. Uh, but what about Nekomaru? What's gonna happen to him? He is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> Nekomaru? Huh? That's, weird. That's strange, I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> Looks like lingering effects of the despair disease. Look, it's nothing for you to worry about. Lingering hey. effects. But only three people had the despair disease. So Akane might be sad and Nagito might lie. That's weird. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. I, but I can't tell when he's lying. He's a freak. Since you have the liar disease, your, your after effects could be lies, maybe. Please leave Nekomaru to me. Everyone must focus on investigating, so I must do my Hi. very best. I will definitely bring back Nekomaru and win everyone's trust. It seems we should leave Nekomaru to Monomi. What about guarding the uh, this area? Do we still need it? Damn it? I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um, it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again. Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Um, then let's get started. So we can end this nightmare for good. That's right. We need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two's sake, we need to find out the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. And here it is. Here's the investigation. Like, I've been putting this up. I've been putting up with this for a while. But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being this hot. It's because your clothes are smothering. God, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the music venue under the cloud of grumbling complaints. But is it? But it is really hot. In fact, it's sweltering hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. Why is it hot? It's a sauna. We're breaking our tablets. If we stay in here too long, our tablets are going to be broken. There are two victims this time. Ibuku Miyoda and Hyoko Sayonji. Sayonji. Ibuku Miyoda's death was caused by a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Okay, obviously she was hanged. She walked up to the hanged thing. Uh, Hyoko Sayanji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. A scalpel? Mikan. It appears her death was instant. You don't instantly bleed to death once your throat is slit. That's not how that works. Instant death. That's not how that works. You can't slit someone's throat and they died instantly. Unless their blood instantly fell out of their body. That's not instant. 
What the? Is this it? I already know the cause of death from the beginning. Is This isn't going to be a useful clue. That's not useful whatsoever. This is strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Or was there a reason they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... I'll definitely find I'll out. I'll definitely find the truth behind this case. I think... The reason could be... I mean, the reason could be that the that Ibuki's murder was caught within the 10 minutes. Like, like, Hyoko saw the murder happen, and then, like, thus, they needed to fucking shut her up. So that's, like, impossible to say. Like, like, premeditated. I don't think they premeditated to kill Hyoko. But Hyoko might have, like, been, like, a, like, a, an extra casualty. That's what I think. Seriously, I'd rather prefer she had more confident sounding catchphrase. God. Akane, what have you been up to? Clear yourself immediately. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Huh? Yeah, I don't feel like it, but... When I think about Nekomaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. That's weird. There's no way. There's, I've got, there's no way I've got that kind of weakness. I'd probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but Nekomaru's not here. Nekomaru will definitely come back. You're right. I think she's clear. I think Akane is clear. Mikan! <laughs> Uh, if only I'd noticed sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Uh, after leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on-call room, and that's when it came to me. I should go check on how everyone's doing in the hospital. How, on how everyone's in the hospital is doing. One more time before I go to sleep. And so I went to the patient rooms and noticed that Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. <laughs> And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That's a long story. I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way that I doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. Ah, she's trying to give herself an alibi. You're right. Well, we were together until you went to, uh, to the on-call room. No, she's giving herself an alibi. That's like the most shady thing you can do, kind of. That's right, we were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. So, I don't doubt you, I'm telling you the truth. Um. If it's alright, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you know, if you want to talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please spread my life at least. Uh, I hope it, I really hope it's not Mikan, dude. I like Mikan, Mikan's so good. And she cuddles with me and when I sleep. What happened to not doubting me? Mikan's account. Actually, that is an alibi. Now, once you get the truth bullet, it's an alibi. <laughs> uh, Fuyuhiko. Is what Mikan said true? Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. What? Look at what's in front of the door. A drumstick. That's what we couldn't break. That's what we needed three people to break. It's a drumstick, right? It looks like it's broken. What happened to it? Like the door is—is is, is that? Uh, if something like that was in front of the door, you think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be hey. a clue? Remember when we came to the music venue? Yeah, it was locked. I remember. If it won't open, the only thing we do is force our way open. Yeah, 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 yeah. We busted it down. A drumstick. You just snap a drumstick like a twig. That's not true, but it doesn't take three people. It could it take one person, a high school student with one fucking Spartan kick to the door. They could open that easily. The door was locked and we tried to go inside and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found that this door doesn't have any locks at all. The door is designed to be pushed open and this is the shape of the handle. If it's, if a stick was used to bar the door here, well, don't you think it would be a locked door would keep it from opening? You mean you think the drumstick was used to lock the door? The broken drumstick on the floor should be proof of that. Then how was the killer able to get out? Oh! They didn't. Huh! Dude, this is another locked room door case! It's like Sakura's case all over again. How does the killer kill and get out? 
Dude, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be Hiyoko killed Mikan. I'm um, not Mikan. Hiyoko told Ibuki to kill herself, and then and then Hiyoko wrapped herself up and slit her throat. But that means the killer has been in here the whole time. And so that would leave Sonya, Soda, Gundam. But Gundam was outside. Gundam was outside. Soda and Sonya were not, were like, came in after the fact. Everyone else I encountered later. Huh. Interesting. I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they lock the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Like. Or maybe the killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue and then waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. You know, don't they use tricks like that in a lot of mystery dramas and stuff? If that's the case, there might be evidence of that somewhere around here. All right, I'm definitely going to find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like he said, that might be possible, but... I've listened to the whole story. I've heard what you two were discussing. Shiaki. That was kind of a cool entrance. Well, Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Goop. Uh, there's a weird glob on the right, left on the right and left side of the door. Uh, mechanic glue. I don't know. Do mechanics use glue? What is this? It looks too firm to think of like it's rubber. Yeah. It does look like rubber, but as she said, Shiaki bent down and scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her fingers. Mm -hmm. Ew! Why are you putting it in your mouth? It smells like workshop chemicals. I think Sonya. I think Sonya. Workshop, and this is and this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened and it was a flex paste. Of course. Do you know how flex paste is? It might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly into the gaps of the door. But what are you talking about? Yeah. But just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Chiaki spat out the glob from her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit of her taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? I think it was Sonya. I think it was Sonya. Because this is mechanics glue. There was a uh, mechanics... There was a camera that... Uh, that uh, uh, Soda built. And because Soda is such a simp for Sonya... All she has to do is ask. Do you have any, do you, can, can you build an extra camera for me? Do, uh, do you have any like sticky paste? It's like, all she has to do is ask. It's like Hifumi and Celeste's case as well. Again, the double murder, the simping, the simping for the woman. I've, the, like these two are the most sus. Something like this. It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe How it. Cruel. This is a place where Ubi Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Hiyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Ah, oh, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. That sounds like so fake. It sounds so fake. Two of you, two of our friends that were killed. That's all the more reason we can't leave this alone, right? Just as I we must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. Sounds fake. I, I, I don't believe it. That sounds like fake news from her. Hajime. Sounds ingenuous. Disingenuous. Hajime, this might be impudent of me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind the incident for the sake of the of de dedicating my body to an even greater hope. No. Wow. Why? <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us, so there's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants to know. How unfortunate. I see. That's disappointing. Okay, yeah, go fuck yourself, Nagito. I should have let you succumb to the sickness. <laughs> Even I'm horrified of the power of the eyes of the Overlord. What the heck is this? Nature, you stupid fool. I cannot world. believe you haven't noticed that aberrant thing. Pitiful humans, they refuse to lift up their heads for fear of doubting the authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up? What does he mean? Is there something there? Oops. I don't see anything. Quite frankly, I'm not seeing anything up. Uh, who haven't I talked to? I talked to everyone here. This? 
Is that my this? The camera, the shadowed remains of my machine are spread all over the floor. This appears to be the surveillance camera this unit. Kazuichi. Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Hmm, why is it destroyed like this? Uh, Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here? What do you well? mean? Even if they know they are not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. That's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm, seems like, seems plausible enough. They hesitate, or they hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera. That's why the killer destroyed this? Then what was that thing that I saw? What? Surveillance camera. So he put it in here? Why would he do that? It was already chill enough in the, in the, in the alleyway. Why would Kazuichi put it in here? Trying to lure a murder? Yo, Chiaki, how'd you get up there? What is this? Oh, the candle. A massive candle positioned in front of the stage. A dull light the video must have been coming from. Yeah, I guess so. The candle has a huge... This candle is huge. It might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. So why use a candle? Unless you want to frame somebody like Gundam. What is this? Why is there blood on the ladder? The stepladder's tipped over on its side. This must have had the stepladder that was used and saw the video. Why does the stepladder have blood on it? Is that a blood stain? You don't bleed when you get hanged. That's not a thing that happens. Look, there's blood around the left side of the stepladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's blood. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. Perhaps... The killer had Ibuki kill Hyoko and then kill themselves. Maybe that's what happened. A bloodstain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the stepladder? What does it mean? Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. Interesting. Who do I check now? Did I already talk to you, Chiaki? With her arms crossed and thought, then the thoughtful look on her face, Jack was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something on the floor? Is there something on the floor over there? Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See, take a close look at the floor. I see. It's a dragged body. It looks. If you look closely, you're right. There's a smudge of something that was wiped off. Wait, this is. This isn't something. Is this a blood stain? So someone tried to clean a blood stain. Yep. The bloodstain isn't strange. Yoko's neck was slashed not far from so, here. Rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? So, hide it? They weren't... If they were trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the bloodstain, as long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off the bloodstain. So what happens... So what was the killer trying to hide? Huh. The Ibuki would be the killer? Nah, but then they tell the Ibuki to kill themselves. The killer self. And then it's like, they're technically responsible for Ibuki's death. I think that's like Monokuma's like, willingness to be like, oh yeah, no. Like how Peko was pinned for the murder despite being the tool for Fuyuhiko. It's like the same sort of dynamic where it's like, but at the end of the day, I don't know, something, something like that. Smudge on the floor. What about my hemp bag? Well, my hemp bag. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait. There's a Monomi bag. Upon further inspection, there's a Monomi decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Wait, did this come from the movie theater? Wait, it did come from the movie theater, didn't it? Who was at the movie theater? I completely forgot. Who was there? Who told? Kyoko was at the movie theater. Kyoko was told that... Mahiru was alive and went to the movie theater, but that doesn't explain anything. That literally, literally doesn't explain anything. Until I know what the movie that was shown at the movie theater was, I don't know. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown and was wearing when she was sick. But Nagito didn't get off for killing Teru Teru for the murder? Nah, in this case, Ibuki would be responsible for Hyoko's death, but whoever told Ibuki to kill herself is responsible for her death. That's how it works. That's how that would work. Ibuki's body lay on top of the stage. She's wearing a hospital gown and she was wearing when she was sick. 
Huh? What is this on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki if that's the case. This blood belongs to someone else? Ah, so what happened? I think Ibuki might have murdered Hyoko, or Hyoko was already murdered when Ibuki stepped in her blood. Damn right. And then they had Ibuki clean it up. I think, ah, I don't fucking know. I think they were trying to get Ibuki to like, she was uh, in like a daze. And so they were trying to get Ibuki to like, get pin the blame on her. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a second? You already discovered the body before you met with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoko was tied up. Untrue! Oh yeah, yeah, before she was tied up. Yeah, yeah. Well. But not before she was dead. That helps. There's no time for of death written on Monokuma file for this time. Yeah, Monokuma's also not being helpful at all. No time of death? What a cunt. So I really wasn't sure who died first. It's true, their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time, but I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so af right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed the stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hyoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. But they didn't happen at the same time. Well, they kind of happened at the same time. And the noose? Uh, it's the rope that was tied to the bat baton lightings on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. That's true. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact that this musical venue has a storage rope, there shouldn't be any rope in there. Yeah, also, who knows how to tie a noose? Does anyone here know how to tie a noose? There shouldn't have been any rope in there, which means it was obtained from the supermarket. Did the killer bring it from there? Who was told to go to the supermarket? Mikan told someone that there was stuff at the supermarket. That means anybody could have obtained this rope, uh, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikan, do you have a moment? What happened? Um, There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Well, yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, so Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right, yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search for another place. Uh, search another place. Jeez, as usual. I have no idea what he's been up to. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's it. No, I haven't checked Yoko. Yoko's body suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Yo, what's that behind her? Oh, I guess it's just movie posters. I thought there was like something like plastered behind her. Uh, damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it was stopped bleeding. It stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Yoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. What? Did the killer do this too? Wait, why is Yoko naked? When did the killer kill Hyoko? When I first discovered her body, I didn't see it there. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back. Untrue. Hyoko's body could have been in the storage room. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hyoko, taped her up in su such a short amount of time? Uh, if that's possible, whoever did it must have had a narrow window to do so. Because the killer must have been someone... Must be someone who doesn't have any an alibi during the time, right? Hey! Eh. Ah, Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually, If you look closely at an unnatural shape bulging from Hyoko's kimono, 
So there was a thing that might be hiding something. Ah, oh, a Chihiro 2.0. Uh, wait, hold on. Don't tell me you mean to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Huh? That's exactly Why? it. It would be a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? Fine. If you don't want me to do it, just have, ask some I just have to ask someone hey! else. Akane! Yeah. Yo, what's up? Hey. There's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono, so can you feel around for that? What? I don't really understand. I just gotta check Yoko's kimono, Thanks. right? Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful now thing. <gasps> Oops. She just fucking knocks him out. Let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape binding Hyoko. She stuck her hand inside the kimono. Damn it. She's tied up so tight, I can't really reach in with my hand. Oh, wait. Hold on. A key? There's something in here. Is this what you were looking for? Is a key? That's the, how do you notice that? Inside a kimono? Kimonos are pretty thick. Perhaps. I thought it'd be like a bag or something. It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this might be the key to her motel room. The key to her motel room, huh? What? If her key was so deep inside her kimono that it had to be removed, then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with the evidence. Isn't that right? True. Because if this is a trap, they would have put more towards the front of her kimono so we'd notice it easier. Which means we can conclude this is something Hyoko had with her all along. Interesting. Oh, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you look like you were curious about the condition of Yoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I was investigating. It's true that there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think is strangest is... See? Why they wrapped her body with the duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Yoko's neck. Yeah, that was a failed attempt. They were trying to hide her neck. What were they thinking? We wouldn't cut her down? We wouldn't get a Monokuma file saying that she was dead that explained how she died? Hide the wound on her neck? <laughs> I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, as compress right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? But they cleaned up the sea of blood. Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. She's already fucking... Should still be things I need to investigate? What? The curtain? What is the curtain? There's a black curtain hanging on the far side of the stage. This curtain, it's not wide enough and it can't reach from one end of the stage to the other. It's not really a full-length curtain. The curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. Yo, someone's going shopping. Someone's just been shopping at the supermarket all day. Uh, see, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took it, actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? But I think Ibuki was used as like fucking man- as like fucking man labor. To just bring everything here while she was dizzy. So... If they went that far, this is probably something the killer really needed for his crime. Why did they need mm -hmm. that? Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. The curtain. What are they hiding? What the fuck? The curtain. Now I think that was everything. Yeah, the noose, the hemp bag. The baton lighting control panel. There's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems like you can use the control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hanged body. Speaking of the lighting, the video of the music venue I saw, it was just a candle. It wasn't actual lighting. It had a dim candlelight ambience to it, and it didn't look like the lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? There Was there a reason that they would have inconvenienced them? Now, I'm still, mo I'm still pointing at Sonya. I'm still way pointing at Sonya because all this shit like all these mechanic tools right you'd think it's like soda but like why not use the mechanical item because Sonya's not a mechanic and thus she doesn't know how to use it so she just lit a candle because she knows how to use candles that's what I think I see so you noticed too fiend huh noticed so you didn't notice are those evil so you didn't notice are those eyes just a little glass balls Yo, Jay, thank you for the six-month sub. 
Thank you very much, dude. Everyone give him some hearts. Get some hearts in chat for Jay. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it very much. It's fucking very cool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, there are, uh, so you didn't notice. Uh, those eyes, just little glass balls. Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. You mean that? Oh! There's something that looks like black papers. Oh, there's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. Interesting. <laughs> Those just look like all the p other posters. So you finally noticed. But I can't, but I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and see it. There is no need. Go! His <laughs> hamsters are gonna fetch it. <gasps> Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction. A hamster launched itself from Gundam's hands and ran up the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. Nice! It started running around and stuck and stuck around the stuck slip of paper in its rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and deftly caught by Gundam. Nice. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow. That was amazing. I've never seen a hamster do tricks. They're my four, four dark davis of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So what up with, what's with that paper? It seems to be some kind of thick paper. Thought it may not be have any special spells scribed on it. That was close. Uh, it appears it's not. It's nothing useful. Was it burnt? No, that's not it. There's no doubt it's some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. What is that? Is that burnt? A scrap thick piece of paper. It's probably a note. Probably Hyoko might have gotten a note, burnt it, and then the ash fluttered and then but it's thick it doesn't float unless there's a breeze interesting i think that was it what do you mean there's still things i need to investigate here oh the temperature oh right it's fucking hella hot the mac venture that's right you must be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this i should mess around with it a little like so it's running as a heater over 86 degrees fahrenheit that's not that fucking hot that means hot but it's not like <gasps> oh i gotta get out of here now i know now i know why it's so damn hot i better turn off the heater for now is that hot how hot does my room get when it's summer i feel like my room gets into like the 90s when it's summer i better turn off the heater for now it, the, it should cool things off a little AC temperature. 86. What about the staff room? There's a door here that's just staff only. Looks like it's inside the storage room. Might as well investigate here too. Banjo. Oh, this is the paper. The shelves. Nagito, what are you doing in here? Nagito, did you come in here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> What else is my doing? Yeah, no, I came in here for a snack, Hajime. God, Nagito sometimes deserves to call me just an idiot. I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or was he trying to stand guard hey. here? So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over stepladder on stage and the duct tape binding Hiyoko. That probably all came from this storage room. There might be other things from this storage room that, that was used for the crime. Uh, you always pretend to give me hints, but in the end... You're just going to be on the killer side, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. What? That's the main reason why this case is special. Huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making Hachime. any sense. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. Really? You might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. Great. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well. For the sake of hope, I'll gladly become the enemy, and I won't even mind when I die. Dude. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? Regardless, wait, did I skip dialogue? Regardless, did I skip dialogue? I can't press Y. Ah, oh, shit. Regardless, I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? 
that it can't that then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feeling. Gut feeling. Hey. You should come by later too. I hope they're. F I I'll go there first and wait for you. Where are you talking about? <laughs> Probably the motel, the movie theater, the movie. I knew it. I knew I couldn't really judge until I saw the movie. After he said that, Nagito walked out of my sight. Movie theater. Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? God, my character is kind of dumb. Honestly, I'm shocked the guitars weren't used for anything. I thought the guitars would be used. Hello, Gundam. Uh, there's a carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelves. It's probably used for a stage decor decorations, huh? The carpet, the thick black paper that was folded up on the lower shelves. It looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front. And this edge of the wallpaper, it looks a little torn, but what does this mean? Why well, tear this and put it on the top of the thing? How does that happen? What? Unless they rolled up the body? Or put up wallpapers? Or... I don't fucking know, I'll be honest. You see your whole body in this full-length mirror. It's probably for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it's easy to check how you would look. I guess that's everything important in this storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. What? It's easy to check your looks? Why was- that means like what? Hyoko was in here tying her thing? Also, I never said this out loud, but obviously Hyoko can't tie her kimono herself. So thus she might have needed someone to do it, but why would someone invite her to the music venue to do it? And then murder her? And then tie it back on? Kinda weird. Kinda weird, kinda weird. Anyone want to talk to me? All right, with this, we might close, we might be close to finished investigating the music venue, but I still need to talk to Mikon and make sure I get those autopsy results from her. Uh, Mikon, have you found anything out by now? Uh, to, parry, to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. Uh, but it's just too hot. I'm sorry, I'm burping all the time. My bad. <laughs> this music venue is just too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been why the, that might have been the killer's goal. But who knows that? Sonya knows this. Sonya knows this. This is a serial killer. This is like a, a serial killer fun fact to know. This is like this is like how does she know how to do this? Obviously, she knows how to do it because she's a doctor, which looks kind of sus on her. But at the same time. Like, if, you, if you're if you obsessed with serial killers, you know all this shit, so... Also, also, Hyoko, I don't think would ask any of the boys to tie her sash for her, because they'd be a pervert. So thus, she might have gone to one of the girls. So, uh, Sonya's just way too sus. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. It's not weird if they knew how- if they knew why. Even if the- even if the- this heat is the killer's doing, if there's any reason for them to cover up the time of death, I agree. So long as I saw it, it should be clear what order the murders to occurred. That's not true. First was Ibuki, then Hyoko. That no, no. I mean, obviously, even in a sentence like this, that's even more like, obviously, it wasn't that order. And as long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistakes to the order of murders. Imitation murder. You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you should start be getting a, you should start to get annoyed by it. An imitation murder. Yeah. A, a copycat killer. What would an imitation be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killing's order and the way they were killed, it's clear they an imitation of that movie. The movie! Instincts. The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Mm. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something do like you that? Have a minute? Excuse me, if this really was an imitation murder of that movie, then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This too must be the will of causality. Three? It's certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> no, no, no. Monokum is alive. And here. And he's safe. And... 
No, no, we're stopping them. Are you guys worried that there's going to be another victim? Then no worries. Things would get too out of hand too fast if a bunch of people keep getting killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared a perfect countermeasure. On this killing school trip, the same blackened can only kill a maximum of two people. There it is. There's that rule. You mean you've added another yeah. rule? But that's under the the same killer, meaning there can be multiple killers. Uh, if it's everyone at once, it's okay. The blackened would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. If it's a maximum of two people, then will there not be any more killings? Um. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're the very you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think that someone would do this. If the cases occur at if two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Dude, I asked this in the first game. So... Like I said, I talked about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean that there two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote out one for one person, right? I am concerned. Dude, I was right. I was right. This is what I'm saying. Ibuki killed Hyoko, and then the killer had Ibuki kill herself, thus making the person who had Ibuki kill herself the blackened. If only we can choose based on one a majority vote, the other person would certainly achieve yep. victory. Yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or four incidents overlap one another? Silence. Shut up! It's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Hey. Okay, meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So is it safe to say that that applies to this case too? Wow. Huh? I don't like that. All right, fine, fine, that's right. There's always one killer at a given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have to figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Yeah, yeah, mastermind and then fucking the yeah, accomplice. Ibuki was the accomplice. Gamer brains are not what they are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go to my cave. I see. So there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows down. Yep. That narrows it down a little. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Plus, if the same killer can be killed, um, can kill a maximum of two people, it means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. But that doesn't mean if Ibuki killed someone, a third murder can still happen. Because the main killer only killed one, Ibuki. I think someone might be... I think Gundam might be targeted. Uh, you guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Could it be you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen the movie. Seen it? Seriously, seen so... what? Like I said, the movie. Oh my. When we first explored the island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the invitation is... Of course, it's an imitation of that yeah. movie. Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see Nagito mentioned something about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come see me at the movie theater. I just... That happened five seconds ago. You... I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch the movie before the class trial starts. Um, All right. Um, We're off. Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Why do you need to know that, Sonia? So you can murder her? Mm. Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first you place. Right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be too good. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I should try going to the motel. There's still a lot of things I need to do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. I feel like there's a billion things I need to do. Hey, Akane, what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, you're guarding the place. Just a little bit more time and I'll be back to my old self. Okay. 